Hey, what's up guys? John with RussellMarineProducts.com and today we've got some important GPS settings for your Humminbird units. We've got the Solix paired up with the AS GPS HS antenna. Let's get right to it. All right, so we've got two units rigged up here uh, to simulate a network setup. So if you're running multiple units on your boat, then you're gonna be able to follow along these settings here. And we've got the AS GPS HS. This is not only a GPS antenna, but also a heading sensor. So there's two parts to this puck here, and you're gonna be able to utilize them together or individually, which is gonna be a benefit when you're running multiple units. So uh, we're going to go ahead and this top unit here is going to represent our bow unit. So we're going to go ahead and dig into our bow settings here and kind of show you guys why we're going to select these options that we're selecting. So we're going to go ahead and open up our settings and as you can see we're under network and then data sources. We've got a few different options here. Uh, this GPS option here is going to determine where we are marking our waypoints from. So if this is the bow unit and the antenna is mounted at the back of the boat, we do not want to mark waypoints from the location of the puck. We want to mark the waypoints from the location of the graph itself because there is an internal GPS antenna inside of the graph. However, there is not a built-in heading sensor. so that's where that puck comes into play. So what we're gonna do is under GPS, we're gonna go under uh, our network tab here. Under auto configure, we're going to, depending on what is selected, you're gonna check or uncheck that. Now, right out of the gate, it actually selected the internal GPS, which is correct. So if that's what your auto configure says, you can go ahead and just leave it there. Uh, but you want to mark waypoints from the internal GPS inside of this unit. So you want this unit to be your GPS source. So I know that's kind of redundant, but that is important. Now, when we go over to our network tab, we'll go data sources and we go down to heading. We're going to select the puck. We do not want to use or we can't use anything internally. So this should automatically be selected. Um, I didn't have to pull off my auto configure or anything on this unit, but you can see right here, it's got the NEMA device and it's even got the serial number there. So you can double check and make sure it's not pulling something else if you've got multiple pucks in the network. So really right out of the gate, this first unit, we didn't have to do anything, but let's say it wasn't automatically selected at least you guys can see what options you have here. Um, we turned our auto configure off. There is a none option for heading, which is gonna be what, sh what you have selected if n no antenna is present. Um, but we we'll go here and we'll select the NEMA sensor, which is, which is our puck over here. So that's gonna set you up on the bow if your puck is located at the back of the boat. Now, basically these settings can be reversed depending on where your puck is at, but really what I want you guys to understand is you want to mark waypoints as closest to the transducer as you can. So on the bow, if your unit is fairly close to that trolling motor transducer, then that's gonna be your best bet, especially if the puck is in the back of the boat. Now, when we move back to the console, uh, we're going to mark want to mark our waypoints from as close to that transducer as we can get. And that's why we're mounting those pucks, you know, back there at the back of the boat, um, back on the, you know, splash well area or on the back deck, something like that, depending on how your boat's set up. Um, but we'll go ahead and we're going to fire up this console unit and we'll show you the settings on that one as well. 
Okay, so now we're at the console unit and we're gonna go in and we're gonna select the appropriate settings based off of the location of the puck being at the back of the boat. Yes. So again, we'll go into our settings. Uh, we're gonna be under network and we're gonna go to data sources. We've got our GPS and as you can see, auto configure is on and it's got the internal GPS selected um, through our auto configure. So this is kind of what I was talking about. Sometimes you may have to go in here, unselect auto configure, and then we want to use the external puck for our GPS source. So what that means is we're going to be marking waypoints from the location of the puck instead of the internal GPS inside of the unit. So typically that console unit is about 10 feet away from the transducer. So the closer that puck is to the transducer, the more accurate your waypoints are going to be. Now the second function of this puck is heading. We talked about that earlier and we're going to be able to go in here under data sources, go under heading, and that one is going to be automatically selected. So we've got the NEMA device selected for heading. And we didn't really go over what the heading sensor does for us, but basically that is going to allow your boat icon to always show true. So if you move the boat slightly, you'll actually see that reflect on your chart screen. So it's really great for fishing waypoints and stuff like that. Um, and it'll help you keep better orientation of where you're at on the lake. So uh, the heading sensor part of this is important for both ends of the boat, but it's gonna be even more important when you're at low speeds, such as the trolling motor. So that is the main reason why you may want to source the heading sensor part of this antenna up to the bow. So if you guys have a puck back here and you're only utilizing it at the console, you're missing out on some important features. You can use the steps in this video to help you be more efficient out there on the water. So hopefully this, guy, this helped you guys out. If you do have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comment section below, or you can shoot us an email over at sales at russellmarineproducts.com, or give us a call at 316-313-4113. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.